Hey what's going on guys, Sad Reviewer here with my review of the Dell Alienware M14X gaming laptop. As always feel free to subscribe to the channel to catch my latest unboxings and reviews. The Alienware laptops come in many different configurations. The system that I have here has an Intel Core i7-2820QM processor running at 2.3GHz. It's got 8GB of RAM and it features the NVIDIA GeForce GT555M graphics. The display is a 14.2 inch display with the highest resolution of 1600 by 900. It's very sharp and clear and the color reproduction is awesome which is very good for games and movies. The Alienware laptops are famous for the customization abilities. The keyboard switches to four areas and you can choose what color appears where and you can even make it switch colors. The same goes for the Alienware logo on the display, the indicator lights, the light around the touchpad and the light on the grills on the front. I'll be going through the customization later on in the review but let's start by talking about the design. As you can see the design is very unique. Unlike other laptops, there's a rubbery matte finish on the entire body and that can easily attract some dust but it will not attract any fingerprints too easily. The computer is very thick and heavy, meaning that you might not be the ideal laptop to travel with. But of course this is a gaming laptop so it is ideal to take with you to LAN parties. You can definitely tell that Dell put a lot of work into the design of this thing and it's ideal to make your friends jealous because not everyone has a futuristic laptop like this. Now on to a product tour. On the top is this rubbery matte finish which I really like and it also these curved edges and the Alienware logo which really stand out. At the front you'll notice another awesome aspect of the design. The middle has the rubbery matte finish and on each side there are grills but they are simply there for decoration. Around them are these glossy plastic things that really add a nice shine to the design. At the left side you'll find a VGA output, an HDMI output, a mini display port, a USB port, a 3.5mm microphone input, two 3.5mm headphone outputs and a 9-in-1 multi-card reader. At the back is the power input and a ventilation hole. On the right side is the lock slot, an ethernet connector, two USB 3.0 ports and the optical drive. At the bottom are two ventilation holes, one for the CPU and one for the RAM and this plate that gives you the model number of your laptop. Once the computer is open you'll obviously see the display, two microphones for stereo sound and between them is the 2 megapixel HD webcam. The keyboard is full sized and very comfortable to type on. Probably one of the best laptop keyboards out there. The touchpad is pretty small but still very comfortable to use. The display is very glossy and easily attracts fingerprints and dust. At regular usage I got about 3 hours on one battery charge which is not too exciting but note that I had all the lights on. On Alienware's website it says audiophile approved, graphics are only half of an awesome gaming experience. With clips, speakers powered by Wave Max Audio, the Alienware sounds as good as it looks. To be honest I have to agree on that statement. The M14X has the best laptop speakers that I have ever heard. There's definitely some bass and they can not be pretty loud. As you can see the Alienware M14X is in fact very uniquely designed. I will not be giving you any kinds of benchmarking results from the laptop but in case you are interested in them they are very easy to come across online. Overall I think this laptop is one of a kind. It is quite heavy and thick but I guess that's okay because if it were lighter and thinner it might not feel as powerful. This is a portable gaming PC laptop that certainly packs a punch and is ideal for the gamers out there. It is quite expensive but in my opinion you are getting what you pay for and to be honest I think this is the coolest laptop that I have ever seen. The Alienware laptops are available from 11 inches to 18 inches which is insane. In fact the 18 inch model is told to be the most powerful laptop in the world. This is definitely a computer to take a look at. It looks so cool, it's so powerful and customizable and you'll definitely stand out from the crowd. I'd like to thank Dell for sending me this laptop for review and I really hope you enjoyed. 
As always, feel free to subscribe to the channel to catch my latest unboxings and reviews. Thanks for watching. So here is the laptop and as you can see everything is blue except for the head. This is the power button. Um, this is the control panel. Uh, right now it's in the basic mode and up here is this little check box and I'm gonna enable that and that's gonna go into advanced settings. So basically this is like a timeline where you can choose different colors, you can make it change colors, uh, have you, you have all the areas, you have four keyboard areas, the trackpad, the grills, the logo on the display, and this small LED. Uh, I don't really bother to change that because it's uh, not really visible unless you look really close. So I'm going to start with the left side here on the keyboard. Uh, you can see that's number 5, so I'm going to click on 5, and right now it's blue, and then I'm going to hit the plus sign and make it go into red. So you can see that I just added red, so it's going to go from blue to red. I'm going to hit the plus sign again, and I'm going to select green. And uh, I'm going to hit the plus sign once again, and I'm going to select pulse. A pulse is basically blinking, blinking, making the lights blink, and I can select yellow. Then by hitting apply, you'll see that the keyboard changes. So now it's blue, now it's red, green, and then it should blink yellow. Now you can make all the lights on the computer automate like this, except for the trackpad and the power button. You can choose the color of the power button and the trackpad but you cannot make them change the colors. You can only choose them and it's gonna stay in that color. Also the light on the back you cannot change that at all. Uh, it's just gonna be white. It's how it's meant to be and that's how it's gonna stay. Up here you'll see some uh, different features. You'll have theme up here gonna click that you have new theme open theme save theme and that's how you can pretty much organize there's also a shortcut by clicking function and alien effects or print screen and that's gonna turn all the lights off except for the trackpad and the head I keep calling it head it's a power button so hopefully this gives you an idea on how the effects work you have the timeline. I have no idea what the limit is. I have never reached a specific limit. You can see that there's a scroll bar here, so I assume it's gonna be pretty long. You have all these different areas that are on the laptop. Uh, four areas on the keyboard, which is awesome because you can basically choose what color comes where and when and it just looks really amazing. Here we're going to zoom out, you can see the laptop uh, in the darkness, how it looks. It just looks amazing. With the changing colors um, and all that. So it's a great feature and a great advantage as far as the design goes.